All right, so now I've been walking 10,000 steps per day for one year. And now I'm miles away from home and I have no idea where I am. So I'm just kidding, I'm safe. So in this video, I'll explain why some people aim to walk 10,000 steps each day. And if this number will help you lose fat, feel better or just waste your time. Anyways, my name is Torbs from Torbs Training and the results you will get from this walking habit will definitely surprise you. So why 10,000 steps? We often hear this number as the ideal benchmark to aim for. But guess what? The idea of 10,000 steps a day was just a completely random figure in a successful Japanese marketing campaign during the Tokyo Olympics in the 60s. Here, the company Yamasa designed the world's first wearable step counter called the 10,000 step meter. Why? Well, that sounded good. And even though this number didn't have any scientific backing behind it at the time, it started to spread around the world as the gold standard of daily steps. The holy grail of not wasting the money you spent on your Fitbit. So. After learning about this intriguing story, I started doing some research to figure out if this step counting industry was just built on air. So I asked three questions. Number one, why walk more in the first place? Number two, should everyone walk 10,000 steps? And number three, how realistic is it really to implement this when you're spending most of your time sitting in front of a computer? First, let's address why you might consider doing something as simple as walking in the first place to improve your health and fitness. You see, over the years as a personal trainer, one of the main goals of my clients is to lose weight. But many of them struggle with knee pain that prevents them from running, or they just don't like running in the first place. Luckily, that's not a deal breaker because walking is hands down one of the most effective yet unrated forms of activity you can do to burn off fat, boost mental clarity and, you know, do the things you need to do in a day. And various forms of cardio like HIIT, steady state cardio, circuit training, etc. are all great ways to improve your stamina and strengthen your heart. But... There is only so much you can do and recover from per week before your body starts to say, uh, no thanks. And most people who, you know, have a life will only be training for one hour per day for a maximum of five hours per week. And that's considered a high training volume. Still, that means that 97% of your week is spent not exercising. So if you stay active during those hours, it could have a far larger influence on your fat loss than what we do in the hypothetical 5 hours of exercise per week. So I've found that simply walking more is by far the easiest and simplest way to consistently burn more calories and lean down without leaving your body destroyed and sparking your appetite. And the beauty of walking is that it literally can be done anywhere. You can walk here, you can walk here, even here. So the question then is, how much should you walk? Let's go back to the random number picked in that Japanese marketing campaign from the 60s. And without boring you with all the math, when my stab of highly qualified NASA mathematicians crunched in numbers, you'll see that an average 83 kilo male can expect to burn roughly 60 calories per thousand steps when walking at a moderate pace. And obviously, the more muscle your weight consists of, the more calories you will burn per step. And if you carry extra stuff around like groceries or a backpack, you will burn even more calories. But let's keep it simple here, alright? Alright? So what happens when you go from 6,000 steps per day to 10,000 per day? Well, you would theoretically burn off almost one kilo of fat per month if you kept all other factors like eating and training the same. However, if 10,000 steps is the ideal number for you, ultimately depends on two factors. Factor number one, your diet. Um, that's kind of a big factor. So you might want to check out some of my nutrition videos as well. Links below. And factor two, where your average step count is right now. 
So if you're not very active at the moment and you're struggling to lean down, then set a realistic goal you can hit every day and use an activity tracker or even your phone to track it. In fact, you can probably use your phone's inbuilt step counter, but that assumes you bring your phone with you wherever you go and <laughs> who would do something like that today? And from there, gradually increase that number with 500 steps per day. Aiming for 8,000 or even 10,000 steps a day are honestly good targets. And you don't have to stop there. You could gradually progress to 12, 15 or even 20,000 to burn even more calories and hike longer if you're in a good looking environment. Just make sure you're not getting lost out there. And walking is not just increasing the calories you burn per day. Because active individuals, whether that's from walking or any other form of exercise, are also better at controlling their appetite and food intake. This is due to various physiological changes that start to happen in the body once you become more active. And of course, the more you are outside walking, the further you are from your fridge. Meaning that the benefits of walking more go beyond just the calories burned, as it can even reduce the calories you eat. And this can therefore speed up your fat loss process to an even greater degree. Not to mention the mental clarity that usually comes from walking more. And finally, how realistic is it really to implement this walking habit in your day-to-day -day life? So for example, you can start the day with a 30-minute morning walk, either that's around your neighborhood or to your office. I often combine this with listening to audiobooks or a podcast. Further, exposing your body for sunlight in the morning is also very helpful to set your body's inner clock and make you feel more awake. There, you get 3,500 steps before you even start your workday. Then, throughout the day, you could stack up some more steps by walking to lunch, walking to a meeting, or going to the toilet. And I especially recommend that whenever you feel stuck at work, go for a 30-minute walk and it usually both clears up your mind and adds up steps. Then, after work, go for a 30-minute walk. Personally, this is the time when I go to train. And by the time I get back home again, I have reached 10,000 steps despite sitting in front of a computer for most of my day. And this daily walking routine will help tremendously. Remember our previous assumption of roughly 60 calories per 1,000 steps? Well, you've just managed to increase your metabolism and daily calorie expenditure by 270 calories per day. And this would theoretically result in an additional 1 kilo of fat loss per month. And that's from those changes alone. But on that note, guys, just keep in mind that for the best results, your new walking habit needs to be paired with a solid nutrition plan and regular strength training. And if you need help, I'm here to help. Just click the links down below for one of my online coaching programs and hit that like and subscribe button for more videos like this. Talk to you soon, twerps.